Hey everyone, my name is Mikhail and welcome to another episode of Get Tones. In today's episode, we continue on the topic of overdrives. In the last episode, I analyzed an overdrive pedal schematic and showed how an overdrive pedal affects a high gain amp tone. You can catch up on that last episode right here. In today's episode, we'll be comparing four different overdrive pedals the Ibanez TS-808, the Boss SD-1, Full Tones OCD pedal, and Horizon Devices Precision Drive. Let's get started. All right, before anything else, I actually wanted to start off with the Bodhi plots of the guitar pedals that I was able to record. The way I did this was using Through Logic Pro. I used the Space Designer tool, and in it, it has a built-in impulse response utility. So I connected each of the guitar pedals to that tool and I pulled the Bodhi plots for them. Now what I did was that I got the low tone, which is the tone knob all the way uh, turned to zero, and then the high tone, which is the tone knob all the way to 10. And from there, I pulled the impulse responses from them. So let's see here. So here I have the frequency response from electrosmash.com. Unfortunately, the impulse response utility only shows it in time. So you won't see where exactly the frequency is edited, but we could kind of ballpark it. So based off, you know, the electro smash frequency response, you can see here that this is probably around the one to three kilohertz range, which is usually where the tone is most affected by overdrive pedals. So all the way down, you see here, is kind of low, uh, steepled off. It starts lowering off around 1K, whereas here it builds up all the way to 3K. So you still get a good amount of mean and signal. Now I'm gonna close this out and compare it to the SD1. So if you see here with the SD1, the cutoff is a lot faster. If you go count one, two, three, four clicks, and you see here four, the cutoff is gonna be a lot faster. So it's a sharper curve here. So that means if you have the tone knob on the SD1 and the tone knob on the TS-808, you're gonna have a lot less of the highs when you have both of those tone knobs all the way down. So then here, the TS-808, you see this small bump, but there's still keeps it still keeps a good amount of the lows, whereas the SD-1, it's actually cutting off a lot of the lows and then boosting the highs just quite a bit and then having a slow cutoff all the way till 10, which is here and here. So as you can see, the SD-1, uh, when the tone knob is boosted all the way, it cuts off a good amount of the lows, boosts about one to three hertz, kilohertz, and then from there it does a steady cutoff, whereas the TS-808 kind of levels it out all the way. Now showing these two, I'm going to show the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. So here, low tone for the Horizon Devices, you could see that well, when the bright knob on it is turned all the way down, it's kind of similar to the SD-1. Uh, the boost here in the mid-range is probably about 600, 800 hertz. Uh, usually the boxiness of it is not as boosted. It's kind of more steady and it's not as cut off with the low end. Whereas when you turn on the high tone, you know, you turn the bright knob all the way to 10, uh, you'll see here that it actually levels out pretty uh, nicely. So that's actually kind of similar to the TS-808 instead of the SD-1, where the SD-1, you know, you have the slope, it cuts off a good amount of the lows, small bump here, and then slow decline, whereas here, it just levels it out, kind of brings it everything to the point of distortion. So then the last one I want to do is the OCD. So the OCD is actually an overdrive. It's not really an overdrive, it's a distortion pedal. So with this one, you're going to see that there's not going to be much affected by the tone knob besides the high end cutoff. So the, high, the knob put all the way to 10. You're going to see here are the extreme highs, probably like the 3 to 5 kilohertz. It's just going to have a nice slow decline, whereas if you were to set it all the way to zero, it's going to be a heavy decline. But it's not going to really affect anything before that. So one more thing. Right now I have the Bodhi plots for all the high tones of the overdrive pedals. And what that means is just the tone up all the way at 10, distortion is very low. So I'm gonna start off here with the TS-808. So all these highlighted boxes, this is like the tone zone. This is where you're gonna hear the most noticeable difference by turning on and off the guitar pedal. So as you can see here, it's kind of like a slight bump in the one to 3K. And that's usually gives a signature sound of the TS-808. Now, if you go down here to the SD-1, it's still that 
large cutoff, but you're going to get even more of a boost. If you're going to compare, let's see here. Okay, just about there. Let's see about this one. Right about there. All right, so it's not that noticeable of a decibel difference, but as you can see, there's a faster cutoff. So it's gonna accent that more while reducing uh, the upcoming, usually it's gonna be like the 800 to 1K, which is usually the boxiness. So this, the SD1 does reduce a lot of the boxiness and uh, it does immediately cut off after. So it also does reduce more of those bright, airy sounds in the guitar pedal. So next up, I'm going to the Horizon Devices over Precision Drive. And it's the same amount of boost in that area, but you're gonna get it more steady and you're gonna get a lot more air, which is about that 5K, 6K area. And then if I go here to the OCD, this one's actually gonna be significantly lower than the rest. And again, it's just gonna cause it to sound more bassy. Um, usually what happens is that even though the distortion is low, it's still gonna have a good amount of distortion compared to the other three. So it does this to try to reduce the hiss that is caused by the distortion. So this one's definitely gonna be a lot less brighter than the other three. So probably going with the brightest, it would be Horizon devices. The basis would probably be the OCD. All right, so for this next section, I'm gonna show how each of the pedals affect the tone for different types of guitar playing. So here I actually broke it down into four different sections. Uh, the first section is gonna be a solo section where the tone being affected is the lead guitar. Then I have kind of like a metal core tech desk section where it's a straight riffage. And then the third section is gonna be more appealed to the Horizon device precision drive. And that's going to be a genty type of section where it's gonna require tight tone. And then in the fourth one, it's gonna be some uh, brutal riffage. So that's gonna actually appeal more to the TS-808. So actually these, each of these sections were kind of designated to each of the pedals and I'm gonna show uh, how they accent each of these sections. All right, so I got my glasses on so I can see a little bit better. All right, so right now I have opened the first section and in this section, it's basically a solo guitar track uh, with two rhythm guitars. Both these rhythm guitars are already reamped. Um, I used the TS-808 for their sections. Uh, the part we're gonna focus on here is actually guitar solo itself. So we're gonna start off seeing at least how overdrive pedals affect the, the solo lead tone. So right now I'm just gonna play the track with no overdrive pedal. I just reamped it straight. As you can hear, it did sound kind of dry, um, especially in some of the tapping parts. It didn't really enunciate. It wasn't that smooth. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the TS-808. Uh, you're going to hear a drastic difference, especially in the tapping sections. It's going to sound a lot more fuller. So the tones does sound a lot brighter. Um, it does sound a lot fuller also because it's a little bit more overdrive in it. So I'm gonna go next to the Horizon devices. So that one actually sounds like it has even a uh, brighter tone. It's, it's mainly, if you look back at that node, it's accenting that 5K to 7K range. So you do hear a lot more fizz in it. And then it's also a compressor pedal in front of that overdrive. So it does accent the attack a lot more and it does sound a lot sharper on the attacks on those picking sections. So I'm gonna go next to the SD1. So 
the SD1, it does sound kind of bright like the Horizons, not as uh, dark as the TS-808. But what it does have in difference between the Horizon is that since there's a faster cutoff, you don't hear that high-end frizz. But again, you're not hearing much more of the low-end either. And if you look back at the Bodhi plot, you'll see it's cutting off around that early 1K. So it definitely doesn't sound as boxy as the other two. And then I'm going to go here to the OCD. So this one should definitely sound a lot boxier than the previous three. The OCD you can hear right there it does sound a lot darker based off its body plot and it does sound a lot boxier since it's cutting off a lot of the highs more so than the other three. Alright so yeah when you compare the four it definitely sounds like the TS-808 might be a good fit in this situation with the SD-1 being close depending on your preference. Um, the ts just doesn't remove too much bass so it doesn't sound too bright of leads. But if you mix it the right way, you could also make any of these pedals work. The OCD, though, it's noticeable that it's making it sound more boxy and darker. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next section. All right, so for the second section, I chose kind of like a tech death metalcore type section. Uh, basically, it's just a lot of fast attacks happening. Uh, it's a 7-8 riff, so it's just a lot of alternate and string skipping. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this one with the No Overdrive track. Alright, so with that one you could hear that it already does sound dry at the beginning it was actually playing the horizon didn't notice that until last minute but uh you'll hear a noticeable difference when it's toggled on and off and you'll see that it sounds a lot drier with the no overdrive so i'm gonna just go again down um from the ts808 all the way up to the ocd this is what it sounds like <laughs> So it already does sound a lot fuller than without overdrive. Um, as you can hear, uh, a lot of the picking isn't too accented. It's kind of like the right fit. I'm gonna go ahead and show the horizon and keep in mind how the attack wasn't that accented in the TS-808 when you're listening to the horizon. As you can hear, even though it's set to the same settings, there is still a noticeable amount of more frizz in the horizon. It does sound a lot brighter, there's a lot more distortion, but you also hear the picking a lot more clear, especially in the string skipping part of this riff. So I'm going to go into the SD1 now. All right, so with the SD1, it's kind of a middle ground again between the Horizon and TS-808. It does sound bright like the Horizon, but it doesn't bring out that picking attack as much. You still have a little bit of air in it, but it's also preserving a little bit of that lower end. Now, it's not as prevalent as the TS-808, where you're going to hear a lot of that more oomph that comes with the riffage, especially with some palm muting and open muting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show the last pedal, which is the OCD. <laughs> Alright, so that definitely sounds a lot darker than the other two pedals, the other three pedals. And there's also a noticeable amount of distortion in that one. It actually kind of fits okay in this riff. And again, it's up to use preference. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't use the OCD in this situation because it just makes it sound a lot darker. 
I'm gonna jump into the next section, which is going to be track three. All right, so I have the third track open. Um, this one is a little bit more gentle. It is more appealed towards the Horizon devices. And the reason why is that there is a uh, tapping section with hammer-ons from nowhere. So it does require a little bit of compression just to even out the attack on those hammer-ons from nowhere and the, the, the tapping sections. So I'm gonna again start again with the no overdrive track, which is these two down here. So yeah, it does sound a lot of dry, it doesn't have that oomph that you would expect. So I'm going to just jump in to the TS-808, show you the difference right away. Alright, so going into the horizon. So where you would feel the most notable, uh, noticeable difference, if you go back and rewind a bit, is those hammer-ons, um, a lot of those no-ends and uh, kind of like that attack on it. That's probably the most noticeable change I would hear in these riffs. Um, I did apply a low-pass and a high-pass filter just because this genre usually does require that to happen to the guitars while mixing. So I did cut off a lot of what you would hear on the high, high end. But here it's more how the riff changes in slight overtone. So I'm going to go now to the SD1 and just try to pay attention with the, the hammer-ons from nowhere. Going back to that riff, you hear that kind of it loses that oomph that it had with the horizons just because it's losing the attack with the low end notes, especially from the open um, seven string. And that's, I think, where this pedal probably works its best at is with seven string instruments, whereas the other two examples I showed before with six string. Yep, and then you hear there, uh, it's gonna sound a lot bassier, but it has like more of a bassier distortion happening to it. All right, so between the Horizon and the SD1, it's kind of hard to hear the differences just simply because they accent the same range, especially with this cutoff that's being applied right now. A lot of that 5K and higher is being cut off, but you could hear a noticeable difference between the Horizon and TS-808, especially when it's hitting those lower strings, um, which require a little bit brighter of tone, so it sounds a little bit more punchier instead of bassier. So you might have to rewind it a couple of times just to nail that difference between Horizon and TS-808. Um, with the SD-1, it might be a little bit harder to hear, it, but definitely there is a big difference between the OCD again and these three pedals, and there's noticeable difference too between the TS-808 and these two pedals, the Horizon and the SD-1. So I'm gonna go ahead and now go to the next section. All right, so I have the fourth section open here. Um, I'm just gonna go right ahead. This is a more riffy section. I'm going to go straight and play with no overdrive. So it does sound kind of dry. I'm just go right on and play what the TS-808 sounds like. So 
So it already does sound a lot meatier, especially with the palm muting chugs. Uh, you definitely hear that a lot more. I'm gonna go now and play the Horizon devices and try to keep an ear out, at least for those chugs. Already you could hear a very noticeable difference between the TS-08 and the Horizon in this riff. Um, the biggest difference you would hear is especially in the palm muting, it sounds a lot more airier. It doesn't sound as uh, driving, it doesn't sound as matching with the, the bass drums, whereas now it has a lot more air. I'm going to go now into the SD-1 and show how it sounds like. Alright, so this riff actually does kind of keep the, uh, this pedal keeps the palm muting a little bit better than the Horizon. It does sound a lot more chuggier than what the Horizon would sound like. It does still have a good amount of air in it, so now I'm going to show what the OCD does. So with the darkness that the OCD brings in because of its body plot, it actually sounds pretty good. It gives more of like a fuzz effect uh, to this recording, which I actually enjoy. Um, I think it sounds pretty good here. You won't hear the palm muting as much, but because it adds more of a fuzz effect, it does keep a little bit more cohesiveness in this riff. It sounds a little bit smoother than it would with the SD-1 or the Horizon. I would recommend just going back and listening a couple of times. I'm not sure if the auto recording, I'm right now I'm using QuickTime to record all this, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be the best audio quality, but I'm also gonna include the stems in a folder in the description below. This ends our overdrive pedal comparison. Now, if you have any questions or if you're interested in any audio equipment, please make sure to leave a comment in the section below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new content. See you all later.